What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Wise Guys Adventures. Today I'm going to be showing you how I converted my 2012 Chevy uh, 4500 Thomas built bus into my tiny home. First things first, obviously, is removing the seats. I still have a lot of them, and they are still for sale. <laughs> Next up is getting the floors ready by laying down the studs and putting down half inch foam board followed by quarter inch plywood. The reason why I went so thin is because I am six feet tall and I did not want to jeopardize the height of the bus. I stand perfectly tall in right now. After getting some more supplies uh, after completing the floor, I'm ready to start putting in the vinyl waterproof flooring. Oh, also uh, putting in the studs on the walls, followed by fo uh, putting in the wiring for the various outlets throughout the bus. Also framing the half wall here for the bedroom area and wiring the speakers. As you can see here, I now have the waterproof vinyl flooring down. The back half will be carpet. You can also see my countertop now framed in the uh, sink. I have since gotten a different refrigerator now because of uh, problems with my inverter drawing too much power. Yeah, the reason why it's not in color right now, one, I'm going to switch to an HDMI cable to um, make it a little clearer, but also uh, it depends on your reception. My antenna not getting the best reception right now, so it's only black and white, but hopefully I'll fix that. Sink. Actually, let me... Uh, get things a little bit brighter in here for you guys. Uh... Alright. Sink is not completely operational yet. Um, I mean, one, I gotta still it down into place but it is attached and everything the hoses are connected it's gonna run on a switch direct DC current you know <sighs> how it works let me turn this on you guys can see a little bit better how it works is I have a bilge pump bottom of this oh boy. the bottom of this tank here this five gallon bucket is a bilge pump connected to this and that's gonna get hooked up to the wires here that go to here and so basically when I turn that on and hit the faucet it pumps water up to the sink 
and then just drains down simply into a five gallon bucket right here so five gallons in five gallons out uh, so basically and when I have to take this out this just pulls out this just pulls right out the top and then I just take the bucket dump it where I can dump it and then put it back in here and then as far as filling that's what this is for uh, this isn't quite finished yet I need to make this brace this all up so it doesn't move and stuff like that see it even came out of the hole there I gotta make a little piece that goes out but it goes out to the window here so oh, let me get back up when I'm at a rest stop and there's like a hose outside or something like that or a spigot I just grab my trusty RV water filter here and the hose hook that up and then open this window and then right here you dump the water in pour uh, with either the hose or with a five gallon water jug which I'll also be filling up with the hose anyway so that way this is my five gallons of drinking water and stuff like that for cooking and all that kind of good stuff but, oh, yes, and here is my fridge. See, that's how it turns on. Watch it. Boom. So, it's like one part is like freezer, one part is more fridge. Depending on how you set it. Okay, yes. Here's a better look at my power system, too. So I have a 1500 watt inverter. This is my solar power controller. So as you can see, I'm getting 12.3 volts just off my panel on the roof right here. Right now though, my total, this is my average of my battery banks. So my five batteries that are tethered together in parallel, uh, they basically are averaging 12.2 volts between all five of them. So, if this drops significantly low, then you actually have a problem. But for the most part, this is going to stay pretty steady, this number. It might fluctuate, you know, a point or two, uh, you know, a tenth of a point every so often. Like, especially, like, if you just turn something on. And depending on what you're using, too. Like, see, like, just with these lights... Like, the second I turn them off, it's probably going to go up to point to 12.3. Uh, you follow what I mean? But then, yeah, also my fridge is on and all that kind of good stuff, too. Also, you know, the TV and the uh, converter box and all that good stuff. So that's just, like, running essential stuff. It shouldn't drop that much. It, yeah, this is also my, doubles as my countertop and all that good stuff. I need to clean this off more. As you can see, I was doing some cleaning in here. I need to do a lot more. It's pretty filthy in here. As you can see, it's been hunting season, so that's why it's all muddy in here. I've had my boots on in here and all that good stuff. Also, I'm still working in here, hence why there's tools everywhere as well. But, yeah. And there's my cooking stuff down there. You know, pots, pans, that's my stove. Also, I have a little electric... Uh, hot plate down there as well. I do love these, absolutely love these. You can either peel the things off and stick them on a wall or the magnets. Or it even has these little screw ports as well. So you can just screw them on, stick them on, or magnet them on. Oh, this is my, well, it was a firebox. You know what I mean? For hazardous chemicals and stuff like that. But I'm repurposing it as my little food pantry. You know what I mean? For all my dry goods and stuff like that. What's great about this, it's a nice reinforced steel box. So that way, you know, if God forbid an animal ever did get in here, that I wouldn't have to worry about it getting to my food. So, obviously when I'm... Like I said, I've been hunting. That's why the gun's up there like that right now. Normally, if I'm 
driving around, I can't have it up there like that. I just kind of put that up there just to kind of show you how nice and neat my gun fishing pole rack is. And yeah. It's pretty nice in here. I gotta admit, I'm pretty proud of myself. It's not done yet, but time will certainly tell. And I'm really excited. I definitely want to get on the road as soon as possible, but with my situation right now with employment and all that kind of stuff, I'm super broke right now, so I don't have the money to get out on the road and really do anything like that. Honestly, I want to do this for a living, but that, I'm still a long, long, long way from ever doing something like that. But in the meantime, uh, i got to figure out what I'm going to do for a job next and just keep on working on this thing. and. I'll keep you guys updated on the progress for sure. I guess that's it. Have a lovely day. And yeah, I guess that's it.